Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're gonna play with some glitter. Um, Karina from Karina's Nail Design sent me some glitter for Christmas. I purchased a couple and the rest she sent me. <laughs> so these are my two recent ones from her for sure. This one she sent she sent a bunch I think I ordered like three <laughs> and she sent me the rest so I am going to use this one I think because I painted my nails this one's called Lacey Lilac and it's Sally Hansen extreme wear so I figured this one will look cute together there's so many, so many pretty glitters. Um, so we're gonna do glitter tips on regular polish. So let me. Ugh. So what does this one say? This one says Arabian Nights, and it's four grams, and it's from Charlie's Nail Art. I hate the stipples. Goes in the garbage can. I don't want to step on it later. So I'm just gonna grab a little dish. Oh, look at this glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna dump out just a little bit because I don't think I need a whole lot of it. I didn't realize it's got these little hexagons and diamonds and hearts or circles and diamonds. Ooh, okay, I'm good. Okay, um, I'm gonna get fluffy brush. Fluffy brush. Hang on one sec. Okay, so I have a fluffy brush and. Stand up. This is the brand. I got it at Walmart, I believe. Camera's freaking out. I don't know what that says. Essential. Well, that's in French. That's why I can't read it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a Walmart brush, and it's it's a fluffy one. So, oh, I'm gonna put. Just because I don't want glitter everywhere. Um, okay, so I've done one coat. So I'm just going to do another coat. And I'm only going to work one nail at a time. Because um, I need a tacky layer for the glitter to adhere to. So, and I'm just gonna tap into it. Apparently, my little brush doesn't want to give up any of the glitter. Come on. Just gonna tap it. Does not work in the way I want it to? That's not too bad, actually. So what I might do with the bigger pieces is actually place a few of them, just because. should be fine there. Now if you're working with gel, I mean you you can do this with gel or acrylics. But I figured I would do regular polish. 
and show you how to do a glitter fade using regular polish. So I'm kind of tilting my nail down a bit and then just kind of tapping. And this one doesn't want to give up any of the glitters it's picked up, so I'm just gently touching it to the nail. Afterwards, I can um, stick the brush in, whoop, in some acetone and it'll, I can clean it up. I shouldn't move the brush around too much. <laughs> There's glitter falling out of it. And then when we're done, then all I will do to encapsulate the glitter is I will use top coat. Just regular top coat. We'll use a few, a few, um, coats of it just to make sure. Yeah, for some reason this glitter doesn't want to leave my brush. Maybe I've used a different brush. I don't know. Ooh, get out of there. Yeah, some brushes soak up your glitter, some don't. So apparently this one does. It wants all the glittery goodness for itself. It's being selfish. So I just kind of tilt my nail down a little bit. It's the same one I'm doing with glip, um, um, dip powders if you want to do a glitter fade. So this technique actually works for a lot of them, but darn brush doesn't want to give up any of the glitters. So. We're doing a tap. Do tap, tap. Tap, tap. Oh. Those little hexagon pieces are pretty cool. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of turning it over and laying it flat. This is probably dry now, so. Look how sparkly it is. So you can totally do this with clear coat or um, your base polish. I'm just doing it with my base polish um, because I only did the one coat and I wanted to do a second coat this way, if you don't want your nails, look, look how much glitter comes out of there. Um, if you don't want your nails thick, then this is a good way of doing it. So, but, um, Tip so I can so then I'm just kind of I'm 
just pushing them in so they don't um, they don't poke out off the ends of your nails. Now, if there's some glitter that you want to put on, you can use your top coat or, um, I'm not gonna use the base anymore just because I don't wanna cover up any of the glitter that I've already placed. So you can just go in and add some more to the sides there. Or you can totally place glitters. So um, say here, I don't have like a, like a little hexagon or whatever. And I kind of want one and I think I put too much on there. do that. So, and that one doesn't seem like it's... So, I'll just do that. Remember to wipe off your brush if... Um, before putting it back in the bottle. If you're using a clear, you don't want to contaminate. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a minute. I'm gonna kind of clean up this and I'll be right back, one moment. Okay, so I kind of cleaned up my mess. Oh, um, lint rollers are awesome for cleaning up your workspace. <laughs> uh, when you have glitter. Um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know that's what I do because it's my silicone mat, so everything sticks to it. So now, what we're going to do is just take my top coat. And I totally got... I'll just clean that up after. And then I just top coat. Um, I would probably, because I'm not, oh, hey, Patel, because look, I got glitter on there. Um, I would probably do two coats of um, the top coat, just so it's, um, it will kind of encapsulate and um, help make the glitter smooth on your nail. Some people don't mind um, bumpy nails, but texture bothers me. I can stand it for a little while and then afterwards it's like, ah. Plus two, I find um, putting a couple coats, especially with the little rectangle or the holographic diamonds there, it makes it more um, three-dimensional. So, okay, so I am going to let this dry and I will come back and show you the final look. I'm just gonna clean up a couple spots and then show you once I've top coated again so you can take a look. Okay, one moment. Okay, so here are 
my glitter fade nails. Um, so I ended up doing three coats only because I used a chunkier glitter and I didn't want um, to feel it or you know and have a catch or whatever. If you use like um, say this other purple glitter where it's super super fine you could probably <laughs> see how my camera freaks out. Um, you could probably get away with doing two coats but it's up to you whatever tickles your fancy um, but anyway there's my nails I really like them I think they turned out super pretty um, so stay tuned for swatch photos and of course puppies I hope you guys are doing well and um, get everything is good with you and um, yeah thanks for hanging out with me while I do my nails and um, yeah, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye.